we want to give respect to all our presidents that because of this little special story, we want to give a little tribute to George Washington, our first president. This is the little hatchet story with occasional questions by a five-year-old friend. We probably all know from our grade school days about the story of George Washington and the cherry tree. We will read this little story just as the author intended it to be read. And so, smiling, we went on. Well, one day, George's father... George who? George Washington. He was a little boy then, just like you. One day, his father... Whose father? George Washington's, the great man that we're telling you about. One day, George Washington's father gave him a little hatchet. Gave who a little hatchet? <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> who gave him a little hatchet? His father. His father did. Whose father? George Washington. <laughs> oh. Yes, George Washington and his father told him. Told who? <laughs> told George. Oh, yes, George. And we went on just as patient and as pleasant as you can imagine. <laughs> we took up the story right where the little boy interrupted. For we could see he was just crazy to hear the end of that story. So we said, George told him? No, his father told George. Oh. Yes, told him he must be careful with that hatchet. Who must be careful? George must. Oh. Yes, must be careful with his hatchet. What hatchet? Well, George's. Oh. With the hatchet and not double cutting silk, or go drop it in the cistern, or leave it out in the grass all night. So, George went around cutting everything he could reach with his hatchet. And at last, he came to that splendid apple tree, his father's favorite and he cut it down. Who cut it down? George did. Oh. But his father came home and he saw it first thing. Saw the hatchet? No, no. <laughs> he saw the apple tree. And he said, who has cut down my favorite apple tree? What apple tree? <laughs> George's father's. And everybody said, they didn't know anything about it. Anything about what? <laughs> about that apple tree. Oh, oh. And George came up and he heard them talking about it. Heard who talking about it? <laughs> heard his father and the men. Why were they talking about? <laughs> about that apple tree. What apple tree? The favorite tree that George cut down. George who? George Washington. Oh. Uh, so George came up. And he heard them talking about it. What did he cut it down for? Just to try out that nice little, little hatchet. Whose little hatchet? What? <laughs> his own, the one that the father gave him. Gave who? George Washington. <laughs> oh. So George came up and he said, Father, I cannot tell a lie. Who couldn't tell a lie? <laughs> but George Washington. He said, Father, I cannot tell a lie. His father couldn't? No, 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 no. George couldn't. Oh, George? Oh, yes. It was I who cut down your apple tree. His father did? No, 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 no. It was George said that. Say he cut his father? No. He said he cut the apple tree. Apple? George's apple tree? No, no. His father. Oh. He said, yes. His father said? No. <laughs> George said, Father, I cannot tell a lie. I did it with my own little hatchet. And his father said, noble boy, I would rather lose a thousand trees than have you tell a lie. George did? No. His father said that. <laughs> that he'd rather have a thousand apple trees? No, no, no. He said he'd rather oh. lose a thousand apple trees then than... said, rather George would? Oh, no, no. He said he'd rather he would than have him tell a lie. Oh, George would rather than have his father lie. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Well, we are patient and we love children. 
But if Mrs. Carruthers had not come along and gotten her prodigy at that critical juncture, we don't believe all of Burlington could have pulled us out of this snarl. And as Clarence Carruthers pattered down the stairs, we heard him telling his mom about a boy who had a father named George, and he told him to cut down an apple tree, and he told him he'd rather tell a thousand lies than cut down one apple tree. <laughs>